Time for a big game breakdown. As always, live on sportsbookreview.com. No line. Cavs and the Heat. Huge game tonight in the association. Look at this. Cleveland and Boston tied for the one seed, although the Cavs have the tiebreaker, both 51 and 29. At the bottom of the East, Indiana's the seven. They're 500. Chicago and Miami, both 39 and 41, although the Bulls have the tiebreaker. And they close with Orlando and Brooklyn at home. They're minus $5 in one spot to make the playoffs. Heat plus 220 to get in. Uh, two Miami thump jobs in March. March 4th, Heat were laying eight. No Kyrie, no James, no love. They won 120 to 92 at home. The rematch two days later. So if everyone think, okay, well, the Cavs are going to get ticked off. They were laying nine and a half in that game. They lost outright. 106-98, no love. But the Heat led by 18 into the fourth. Again, the Cavs can't defend Teddy. Yeah, okay, so here's my number after the Cavs lost an OT for this game. That's Heat minus four, and that's if the Cavs play everybody. I don't know that we're going to see the Cavs play everybody in this ball. I don't know if we're going to see the Cavs play anybody in this contest. I mean, LeBron, 32 points, 16 rebounds, 10 assists yesterday. Kyrie had 45 and 9, went nuts from downtown in the game in Atlanta, you know, but of course... It's still a team game. You know, no a Hawks player had more than 22 points, nine rebounds or five assists, but they played much better team basketball. The question is, does Tyrone Liu go after this game or rest his key players? How much does the number one seed at the potential cost? Because look at the Sunday minutes. This graphic will show it real clear. LeBron, 46 and a half. You know, Irving, 44 and a half. Love, 42 and a half in yesterday's game might make more sense to rest those guys even at the expense of the number one seed than it does to wear them down heading into the postseason of course the defense continues to be awful nothing short of awful they allowed atlanta to have 70 assists in a pair of losses on friday and sunday they have to get the one seed they'll likely open with the bulls who swept them this year as well headache for odds makers post post all-star break the Cavs are 12 and 14 the Heat are 14-9. and nine. They've also been flat out the better team. They stepped up on the road trip. They beat, they beat the Hornets. They beat the, the, excuse me, stepped up on the road trip. Top cycle of the Hornets, Raptors, and Wizards over four nights. Went two and one. They only lost by two at Toronto. If Thompson can't go for Cleveland, Whiteside should have a big game down low. Oh, yeah, this could be Dunk City for Whiteside. I mean, the guy's got five straight doubles-doubles. He's averaged 18.3 points and 14 rebounds on that three-game road trip. And remember, when they went to place the Hornets, the Hornets were still alive. They were fighting Miami in the playoff berth. And Miami knocked them out. You know, they went to Toronto, covered the number in defeat, lost by two. Second night of back-to-backs at Washington. Take care of business. So, tough, tough stretch. And Whiteside was a monster on that trip. Uh, you know, uh, and of course... They could get Deion Waiters back tonight. And if Waiters comes back, my number on Miami would be higher than that minus four. But look at the quote from John Wall. Again, we always, on Sportsman, we always like to look, what does the opposing team say after they got beat? What does the opposing coach say? Here's a great quote from John Wall after the Wizards lost uh, on Saturday night. Quote, they just put us in tough binds, helping with Hassan Whiteside on pick and roll. They have a lot of shooters outside that can help. Whiteside does a great job of taking away passes, that you try to find your big man and find the shooters. Give those guys a lot of credit. No question, Pauly, Miami has been flat out better than Cleveland for the better part of the last two months. I would expect the point spread tonight to show that. If it doesn't, I'll have to get involved. Hey, guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.